The countdown has begun. In just a few hours time, the torch that signifies 100 days to the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics will arrive at Incheon International Airport's newly built Terminal No. 2. Now from there, it will begin its journey across all four corners of South Korea before it's used to ignite the Olympic cauldron that will mark the start of the Games on February 9th. Our Cho Sung Min starts us off. The Olympic torch for the 2018 PyeongChang Winter Games has been taken around Greece by 505 participants, crisscrossing some 2,000 kilometers around the home country of the Asian Olympics. The torch was officially handed to the PyeongChang 2018 Organizing Committee in Athens on Tuesday by the Hellenic Olympic Committee President Spiros Kapralos. It's become so real that the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics is just around the corner, and I'm honored to be part of the team to transfer the torch. During his speech at the handover ceremony, Yi Hee-bom, the president and CEO of the Pyeongchang Organizing Committee for the 2018 Olympic and Paralympic Winter Games, said Korea will inspire younger generations and deliver the Olympic values of respect, friendship and peace to the world. We will host the largest and the most culture-oriented Winter Olympic Games ever. With this vision for our Games, I will invite you to share in our celebration in Korea. All the world's people are the main characters of the upcoming Winter Olympics. This Olympic torch is the flame that connects the people's hearts and it's the light that shines on everyone. The flame will be kept in a special safety lamp to fly more than 8,500 kilometers to Incheon International Airport. It's scheduled to arrive on Wednesday morning Korea time when the 100-day countdown to Pyeongchang 2018 begins. Once the flame arrives, the torch will start its long journey to the Olympic Stadium in Pyeongchang, covering exactly 2,018 kilometers. Carried by 7,500 participants, it will travel through all of Korea's nine provinces and eight major cities and pass by several major landmarks along the way. Cho Sung-min, Arirang News.